Welcome back, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Now, listen, I'll let you in on a little secret. I haven't told my close friends that I've been doing these YouTube reviews. And it's kind of interesting to getting some feedback from them. Uh, I do have a couple of friends here, and they've just come back from seeing... Uh, the latest Indiana Jones movie. And they are not aware of all these, <clears throat> the politic pushing the woke movement that's going on in the States. And most of us Canadians are like, yeah, we support the gay marriage rights and all that stuff. We are not aware of this Bud Light and these Mary Sue's in the movies. And so it was kind of interesting to see them go out with the family and go and watch in the theaters Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. So I have not seen it myself and I'll rarely uh, make a review of a movie that I haven't seen personally. But just from the feedback, they're like, what? The first... 20 30 minutes apparently it's very video game-ish in the sense that they've de-aged Harrison Ford to play the role of a younger Indiana Jones and it was very video game like I've been told so they were not able to get into the story but they did kind of like the visuals and the action and it brought them back to our youths because you know we are getting up there in the ages, just like Harrison Ford is. I think he's in his 80s now. And the rest of the movie, they were very disappointed. The kids, you know, did not get into the movie whatsoever. They were very distracting for the parents. And the parents that were trying to watch, they kind of... No, this is... What is this? This is... It was all apparently it's all over the place. It's not interesting. Uh, nobody felt that even there's, there's apparently there's a one scene here where older Indiana Jones yells at somebody else's cutting the grass. And they're like, this is not what I want to go and see in theaters. I want it to be brought back to my youth. I was hoping this Indiana Jones would be, you know, based on the previous movies, would be like the previous movies, but no, it's carrying of the torch, and it's somebody else who's going to be, you know, taking the lead. And even some of them were hoping that it would be a true Indiana Jones. So, basically, that's my comment. Here so far, if I look at the Rotten Tomatoes, they do have an 88 score. The critics, eh, not so much. But most people that have seen all audience 83, 80s, that is really good. You know, if viewers like it. But maybe this is a younger generation that haven't seen the previous movies. And, you know, it's 65 million opening... It is good, except for that the budget is almost $300 million. So this might turn out to be one of the biggest flops of Disney. But us as Canadians, we are not aware of what Kathleen Kennedy is doing to the Lucas brand. What, you know, they don't know that Kathleen Kennedy is wrecking, you know, not only the Star Wars franchise, but also the Indiana Jones so I told them, you know, I'm talking to my friends there, and are you aware of this and aware of that? And they're like, no. So it's kind of funny getting their perspective of, you know, just going into a movie fresh and hoping that it would be relevant to its title. And it was a little bit in the beginning. Uh, there are some nostalgia scenes at the end of the movie. But even then, they were telling me the end doesn't really... Somebody's dying, and he gets punched, and he wakes up, and we don't know how he got healed, because he was dying. So, take it. Leave it. If you're going to see the movie, let me know what you thought of it. If you didn't like it, I'd like 
to debate it with you guys. Anyways, that's it for my Indiana Jones little side story here. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.